obviously it's a, a bitterly disappointing defeat today, especially considering the performance in the first half as well. What do you think maybe changed going into the second half? Uh, well, they scored. They, they had, they had um, a free kick that looked like a foul to me. He's put it back across the, 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 the box and we've fallen asleep and the kids scored at the back post. That's the only difference. We, if we just use the last minute, for example, we put a long throw in there and we miss chance chest over the bar that's let alone the other 10 chances we created listen I, I said to you every other week I'm a, I'm, I'm a boring man at times with my interviews because it seems like I'm saying the same thing but it's fine margins how many clear cut chances we've had even in the second half where they were they, they were slightly better than us in the second half in my opinion you get supporters having a day trip making a full day of it good weather and the least we deserve was that point and the least they deserve was a win but football doesn't work like that. I've said it before. You know, it's, I'm, I'm quite a boring man in my interviews because they seem to be the same thing rehashed over and over again. The fact of the matter is, no matter how well you play, how many chances created, we've got no points. They picked up three. The results have gone against us, and you've got to go and find a way of winning. Probably five out of five to get in the playoffs. Um, and I've just said to the same to the lads: you've got to show some guts now because apart from the first game, uh, beginning of the season when they won four on the bounce, I think under Tommy. Um, they've not shown that they're capable of doing that, so we will now find out about lads' mentality, lads' character, and how uh, you, what you know what what it is that they really want out of the game this season. Following the game as well, obviously such a disappointing result. But what sort of things were said to the lads in the change room there? Just what I said to you before about mentality. Um, you know, we, we, we came in at half time. Everyone's running on emotion. Um, adrenaline's flowing. We feel like we've played well. Um, and then the, the total opposite to that is a full time when you've lost a game. And, and, and from, from my point of view, my experience, which is over 600 games, is that it comes down to a mentality thing. Um, as I say, it worked like Jordan was making saves, we were making goal line clearances. They've had a, a tiny little bit of pressure off a straight free kick that can't be dealt with. Really good, well worked block that they put on and they scored a goal. And that is concentration levels. You know, you forget the highest level. This level of, of football, if you do not deal with the first, second, third balls, then you're going to get punished. They did, we didn't. Um, they felt on, on, on quite lucky on, on a few occasions in the first half, um, but you make your look, you know, you make your own look as a, as a, as a football team. Obviously, returning to the pitch Monday as well. Would you see that as a positive, being able to to play straight away after there's, a defeat like this? There's 20 games, uh, 20 days of the season left, five games. Depending on that goals, we'll be in next season, um, and, and, and what we're looking for is is character. What we're looking for is resilience. What we're looking for is how bad does, does the squad want to get in a place like we do? Um, because we, to be fair, over the last few, three or four weeks, we've got within touching distance and always just missed out when we could get there. And that's not taken away from the fact that when we drew Boston back in January, we could have got in and then we didn't play for three weeks and we dropped down the league. But you've got to show character, you've got to show resilience. And the best thing of doing that is getting the game um, and a derby at that, or a derby ish um, at that with Blythe at all. But it, I think there's a lot of disappointment at this moment in time because we felt like we were getting somewhere and then all of a sudden you lose a game like this. Against a, listen, against a massive football club, by the way, with a top manager, very experienced team, um, yeah, and you feel really deflated. But we, we haven't got time for that. We've got to pick ourselves up, uh, dust ourselves down, play Blythe Monday, and then reassess from that. When we do our interview again on Monday, when Burns back, hopefully, um, we'll reassess from that point of view um, and then see what the next four look like. But the 20 days of the season left, it's the best time of the season if you've got something to play for. And at this moment in time, we still have just, but we've got to see what we're, you know, we've got to see that bounce back ability from the group.